Welcome back to New Record Day. My name is Ron, and today we are doing a review of the GNR Research LGKs. And folks, these speakers are pretty incredible. GNR Research began in 1995 with a passion for high quality audio. With a driven desire for excellence, they expect nothing less than to turn the next page in mainstream loudspeaker design. Jumping over to GNRResearch.com, you can find do-it-yourself kits for loudspeakers, drivers, components, electronics, accessories, and services offered through GNR. I have followed GNR Research for a number of years through their own forum at AudioCircle.com, and I've always wondered, what do these kits sound like? However, we have a problem. When it comes to making stuff out of wood glue and soldering electronics together, I would most likely end up with a speaker box that looks more like something you would find in a bargain bin at a dollar store than a decently built speaker enclosure. So I decided to knock on the door of GNR Research and develop a friendship with none other than Danny Ritchie and folks. Let me be the first to say, you won't find a better dude in this business to work with. So let's get this ball rolling. Danny sent me a prototype of the LGKs that were already put together, and while they look pretty good, I won't be discussing fit and finish in this review as your results will vary from what you're looking at right now. The LGKs are built around a 3-inch wideband driver known as Little Giant Killers. That's right, folks. These things are tiny, and when I first saw them, I thought, okay, this is just plain silly. There is no freaking way these things are going to do much other than squawk and squeal and probably sound like pots and pans crashing down a flight of stairs. Well folks, spoiler alert, I have never been so happy to be so wrong. These little giant killers are named appropriately as long as we have the right expectations and know what their limitations are. Designed for desktops, small theater systems, small rooms, and near field listening, the kit includes a simple compensation circuit that includes everything you need using sonic caps, Mills resistors, and Earth's XQ inductors, which are used to compensate for the baffle step loss of the small cabinet. All things combined, this gives the LGK a flat response that makes many overpriced speakers blush in shame and head back home to mommy. Let me be the first to say, listening to these tiny speakers and hearing full range literally pour out of these makes you wonder, what the heck does Danny Ritchie know that so many other manufacturers can't seem to get right? Priced at $189 for the complete kit, you will have everything you need to get the ball rolling including ports, screws, solder, heat shrink, and a half sheet of no-res dampening material. All you need is some wood and a desire to make these things as the cabinet plans are free on the site. Interested in performance such as on and off access frequency response, spectral decay and impedance response? No problem. Jump over to the review page or GNR research and you'll find what you're looking for. Oh wait, for all you dudes that are scared to make the cabinets on your own, there are plenty of gifted woodworkers that Danny can hook you up with. Just email him and he'll point you in the right direction. Links will also be down below in the comments section. So Sarah and I have had these little giant killers for a couple of months now and decided the night that we plugged them in and heard Bob Dylan's Blood on the Tracks that this was going to be a pretty easy review. What we heard that night is what we still hear to this day. Great sounding music. Initially, I had placed these guys in the big room, pulled them three feet from the back walls, and positioned around six feet from each other. Soundstage was realistic, and all boxes were checked in the imaging department. These speakers can pretty much disappear when you give them room to breathe. In near-field situations, you do lose a little bit of the disappearing act, but you also gain more detail, and loading these in smaller rooms will give you more bass and impact. Even when placed back up against the wall, they still provide great imaging and don't fall flat on their face. Apartment audiophiles and music lovers, I hope you're paying attention. Bass is defined and accurate without a trace of boominess or one-note nonsense. While I should point out that your walls won't be rattling with earth-shaking bass, you will still be able to hear some ridiculously low notes at moderate volumes. Being more specific, without a filter to cut the low end and adding a sub into the mix, I think the LGKs are fine up to around 80 to 85 decibels before they lose some of their composure. Like I said before, setting the proper expectations is pretty important. I don't want to oversell these speakers and pretend that there's something that they're not. In regards to a filter, email Danny for more information. He can set you up with something and I'll be doing a follow-up down the road to see what these sound like in that scenario. Mid-range fans, feel free to hit the checkout button. Seriously. I don't need to know what you're looking for in a speaker to blindly recommend the LGKs. When it comes to mid-range, these boys know what the heck they're doing. Warmth and resolution are married in perfect union and you can expect a speaker that demonstrates just how good vocals should actually sound like. 
Detail fans such as myself will be just as satisfied as you folks that gravitate towards the warmer side of the swimming pool. Textures are lifelike without a hint of graininess, and there is just enough meat on the bones that nothing comes across as thin or lifeless. The LGK's mid-range is dang near perfect. Top end treble is fantastic and slightly less detailed than what I'm used to with my Anthony Gallo 3.1s, but more detailed than the previously reviewed Emerald Physics CS2Ps, making them good enough to recommend without much hesitation. In the near field audio samples I'll have in the links below, please note, the top end sounds a little more exaggerated than what they actually sound like. Overall, the treble of the LGKs is about smack dab in the middle of the road between detail and warmth, and folks, that's not a bad thing at all. So, are the GNR Research LGKs the greatest speaker out there? No, but at $189 for the kit, you provide the wood and the materials to build these things and put them together, I think that at that point, we can have the conversation that they're one of the best bargains out there in this crazy audiophile world where buying speakers is typically really difficult and very expensive. I love the idea and the concept of GNR Research where with a little bit of effort and a little bit of time, you can have a friend come over or have a dad help you out or whatever the case may be put together a great sounding speaker and have that sense of pride knowing that you actually built something that sounds so freaking good. And let me let me tell you right now for you know smaller home theaters for desktop solutions, I don't know what else is out there that's going to really beat the LGKs. They truly are a little giant killer. Make no mistake about that. Danny Ritchie, thank you so much for sending out the LGKs. Unfortunately, you cannot have them back. Uh, my wife, Sarah, has already decided they are hers, so send me an invoice. We're going to buy these things. They're freaking awesome. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Send us the emails, leave the comments, please subscribe, and we appreciate it. Peace. Take care. Is the LGK research... Why do I want to keep saying LGK research? Let's see. What's the LGK? There's no such thing as an LGK research. And I'm just making <laughs> it, re it represents an I and a, and a broken arm with like a strap for his cast. Oh, why can't I do this? I can't say flesh out. I know that what's his name will get mad at me. Is that good? It wasn't great. Crank out. Crank. You're cranking it out. I'd like to take the time to thank Danny Ritchie from. He's uh, great with. The ladies, I, I, I mean, this is ridiculous.